Slash. Shattered. Sit. Okay. Hi, Darren. Long time no see. Ooh, that's loud. That's loud. Um. Let's let's get a mixer going. Okay, that should do it. That should do it. Awesome. Um, hi, everyone. Welcome. Uh, this is a very, very special day for me uh, as, you know, a Kawa who likes games. All right. Uh, I'm like now. Um, with huge, huge, wonderful thanks to Evan. Um, I have here in front of me a beta version of the Shattered Pixel Dungeon Wand update. Oh my god. Like, and I have it running on my desktop in Chrome by some amount of miracles and stuff. I don't even know. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's have some fun, shall we? Uh, let's, let's, let's do some streaming. Uh, okay. Actually, one last thing before we start. Make sure the uh, the updates on other things I am running don't uh, get in the way. And without, oh, and except for the one thing that I do want to be alerted on. Yeah, that would that would help. All right. Without further ado, let's uh, let's get this going. Uh, many heroes have ventured into the dungeon before you from the, from the city above. Some have returned with treasures and magical artifacts, most have never been heard from again. None, however, have ventured to the bottom and retrieved the amulet of Yendor, which is said to be guarded by an ancient evil in the depths. Even now, dark energy radiates from below the city, from below, making its way up into the city. You consider yourself ready for the challenge. More importantly, you feel that fortune smells upon you. It's time to start your own adventure. Shall we? Uh, the dungeon lies right beneath the city. Anyone who's played Shattered uh, know, or any of the Pixel Dungeons knows uh, the general idea. We've got five levels of, uh, four levels of this dungeon, then the first boss, then more fun along the way. Each, um, each set of levels has its own set of monsters and its own set of challenges. Um, I'm playing Mage because of this thing right here, which is the brand new Staff of Magic Missile. Um, extraordinary Staff, a one-of-a-kind multi-purpose magical weapon. It is in rather than having an innate magic in it, it is instead imbued with magical energy from a wand, permanently granting it new power. The staff radiates consistent magical energy from the wand it is imbued with. Uh, so instead of starting out with a knuckle duster and a wand of magic missile, you now start with this in Shattered. Um, it counts as a melee weapon and it counts as a wand of magic missile. Um, it doesn't do much damage in melee, but from my understanding it's much better used as a wand as you might imagine. We don't have any other wands to imbue it with, so that that's that for now. And yeah, let's let's get moving. So, yep. Um, if anyone here does not know what this game is, um, it is a Android-based roguelike, um, a variant on a a game known as Pixel Dungeon. 
uh, which is also for Android. Ooh, the Unstable Spellbook right away. That's fun. Magenta Potion. Do Vile right away. Also good. Um, I'm running it on the desktop thanks to a couple modifications that make it possible to run Android APKs in Chrome. Um, and I, this is a special preview build. This is not the build that you pick up if you just go to the Google Play Store and install it right now. Um, this is a special one offered to those of us who are part of Like Like Light, the uh, new uh, player-focused roguelike podcast. Uh, we had we just recorded last week a episode about Vanilla Pixel Dungeon with Evan, the developer of Shattered, and he offered to each of us um, an opportunity to play and preview Shattered before it starts. So yeah, here we are. Um, let's upgrade our magic missile. Uh, let's equip this. Oh, that's not fun. Um, so that was cursed. A remove curse will undo that, but uh, that's gonna take us some doing to find. But such is the nature of roguelikes with their delicious, delicious randomness. Uh, grab that key. Um, so who's here? Um, I always like interacting with chat and I can see it very well um, alongside running the game right now. So if you're here, you should you should come by and say hi, because I always love hearing from uh, rogue developers, roguelike fans, people who just stumble in. Um, that's always a lot of fun for me. So come and say hello. Um, this is a little more awkward with a mouse than uh, just touch, you know, touching a screen. But I don't have the ability to turn this into a touch screen, so I'd rather stream it than not. So. Awesome, awesome. Uh, one new update that you might have just noticed, that uh, little yellow exclamation point that uh, was over that rat. If you catch um, a monster by surprise through a doorway, thus guaranteeing a hit, Shattered Pixel Dungeon now shows you that, which is a wonderful improvement to past... Uh, past policy, let, let me say that. Because it's one of the easiest ways to make sure that you can make damage, especially on monsters with really high evasion. Um, I can take that on. Um, it'll summon a bunch of wraiths. If I stand here, I think I might get only one wraith for whatever's in there. And the wand of magic miss, uh, the uh, staff of magic missile should help me out with that. So... Um, you'll also notice, if you're familiar with uh, Pixel Dungeon, that um, monster generation is a little higher than it used to be, but it's all rats. That's because um, Evan guaranteed that um, if you start at uh, level 1, you will definitely get to level 2 as long as you explore the whole level, which is fantastic. Um, okay. So this room is full of is full of fish. The fish are really hard to hit. However, if you go invisible and one of these potions should- ooh, you found strength, I'll also take that. But yeah, if you go invisible, now they'll ignore you. And Evan also, amongst all the other things he's been doing, um, improved the API for the, for the fish so that they don't block the doorway, which is massively important and helpful. So now that we are done with that, let's uh, let's tackle this, shall we? Yep, only one wraith because I'm otherwise surrounded. Easily dispatched, leather, new, brand new leather armor, which should be equipable now that I've got 11 points of strength. Yep. Awesome, awesome. Um, the little pointer tells me where my next level is, so I should just take advantage of that fact. And there is another monster. Oh, it's that, that rat that I didn't kill before. Well, you can die now. And there we go, guaranteed level two. Fabulous. Let's move on. Okay. We've got no special level message, so I'm not too worried about what I'm gonna run into. More rats. Okay. 
On we go. On we go. Alrighty. Grab that. I don't understand why enemies don't trigger traps. Like, what's up with that? Come on. Can't make that fair in either direction. Lots of leather armors. Um, and a scroll that I don't know the identity of yet. Uh, take a chance on it. It's not remove curse. Okay. Um, let me eat now. So that, which gives me an, the ability to reach uh, a faster recharge, which nowadays is included on here like so, which is excellent. And I just got a text message. Uh, so excuse me for a second while I check what's going on there. Okay. Uh, just something about my physical health condition. Okay. If enemies don't trigger traps, there's no point to traps? Lies! Lies and blasphemies, Darren. Um. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah! Um, I do like how Dreadmore picks up and repositions traps. That is a lot of fun, and it's a mechanic that I didn't use nearly often enough back when I played a lot of Dreadmore. Um, which is something I should do again. I should start playing lots and lots and lots of Dreadmore, because it, despite its terrible inventory management, it's a, it's a very good game, and it's a very fun game. So I should, I should do that. I should do that. Um, it's one of the few, uh, roguelikes that I haven't streamed yet. Um, ever since I started making Twitch sort of a regular part of my, my day. Okay. Though the fact that I can play, uh, Pixel Dungeon on PC now, oh, even with the test builds. Yeah, it is very nice with no time to grind, you're right. Um, it's, it's a good game. Um, so, I, I really should get back into Dreadmore. Thank you for that reminder. It'll, it'll probably happen sometime in the next few days. Uh, okay. Uh, alrighty. I also owe people more Crawl, and more Adom, and more Dungeon Mans. Uh, those are all things that are on the docket, um, that people have been really enjoying watching me play, so that's fun. I have not played Invisible Ink yet. I don't even own it yet. I really should, but it's something I haven't had um, the ability to buy just yet. I will get to that, I promise, at some point. Um, I hear it's great, but yeah, it hasn't, it hasn't, it hasn't gone on the, the list of things to play just yet. Okay, here's the other key. Uh... Honestly, I can, like, unequip this and have a melee weapon and just use this basically like a wand, but I want to explore the consequences of having it as my main weapon, so I'm not even going to bother with the uh, animated statue. Even though it's actually really easy to kill if you have a ranged weapon like I do. So, yeah, let's move on. Um, there we go, level 3. And now we can move on. You can hear enemies moving around in the darkness. So this means I'm going to have limited line of sight, there's going to be increased enemy generation, and there should be a, um, a torch on the level, as in the one right there. Ooh! Our first, uh, our first wand that's not, um, the magic missile staff. Let's set something up first the second quick slot. Um, how's the brightness, by the way? Do people want me to turn the extra brightness setting on, or does it look good as it is right now? It's hard for me to tell, um, because I can't really see my own stream at the moment. So if you have any, if you're having trouble seeing that, uh, just let me know. Let's use that. That'll give me some extra line of sight, which is really helpful as a ranged character. Uh, oh, I'm starving. Um, 
Let's fix that. Bright enough for you? Okay, perfect. Thank you for letting me know. Um, so yeah, Darren, we haven't chatted in quite a bit. How are you? How is, um, how are things going? The one, yes, um, Vit, Vit WK. Um, this is actually a staff of Magic Missile. This is the brand new, um, the brand new melee weapon, uh, that, well, the brand new weapon that Evan is making for Shattered. <laughs> um, as a replacement for the Knuckle Duster plus Wand of Magic Missile. So this is its description. Um, it radiates uh, magical energy from the wand it is imbued with. And we haven't imbued it yet, so right now it's Magic Missile. Oh yay! My death! My death, which is a Shattered Pixel Dungeon death. Yes, yes. Um, let me know when that episode is out, because I actually want to talk about that death on the Shattered Pixel Dungeon episode of, of Like Like Light that I'm recording on Sunday. Uh, so do you have an ETA on when that will be released? But um, yeah, this is the new staff. Um, it's the new intro weapon for, um, for Mages and Shattered. This is a preview build. Thank you again to Evan for uh, making that happen for us at Like Like Light. And this is the new Wand of Lightning. Um, made of solid metal, two prongs curve at the top, powerful lightning arcing. Okay. Um, more powerful in water. If you're too close, you may get shocked as well. Then more powerful in water is new. So I have to fully identify the wand before I can do the imbuing, which I can do by using identify, but I can also do that just by using it up. Hopefully within the next week. Perfect. Awesome. So here's an interesting change. No, um, okay, that's another scroll of something that is not remove curse, so I can't use it right now. Okay. So that's leather armor 11. I don't know remove curse yet, so I don't want to try on other, other armor in case it's also cursed. Uh, so let's keep moving. go. There's another one of those. Ah. Out of, not enough charge right now. But I don't get the uh, how many charges it has on it uh, when partially identified anymore. I don't know if that's a feature or a bug. It's probably a feature, but yeah. Oh well. Ooh, I noticed something. Onwards, onwards, onwards. Uh... Ooh, they're next to each other. Perfect. Always good. There we go. Scroll of upgrade, which I also can't use right now because of the back of the uh, of that. But let's uh, let's inscribe this. Just to see what happens. Anti-entropy. Oh, that could be dangerous, but that's also a lot of fun. So, I'll take it. Okay. And from here, we go down. Hope. Now, I've had an interesting experience with these, um... These, what I like to call cliff rooms. Um, where sometimes I don't, and there, these rooms exist without necessarily having a, um, a special room at the bottom, which is not fun. Let's go. Okay. Um, so this is the thing I'm actually the most excited about, is that you could impress each of these little buffs or debuffs and actually know what, uh, what it is and how many more turns it'll last. 
Thank you, Evan. Like, I am more excited about that than the WAD rework. Like, this is so helpful. This is so good. This is the best. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, we have an unidentified ring, which I'll put on. Uh, it's good, so that's good. Uh, no, that's- that's not a safe strategy. Come on. Oh, that, uh, that crab ran away. I was hoping to, uh, target it from inside the room. Whoa. Get away from me. Anti entropy, why you do? Ooh, it did cook my meat though. That's what she said. Um, yeah. Do I take a chance that this is a healing potion? Or do I wait? I could also go back to a known safe room. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's, let's go back here and try it. Purify. Okay, I'll take that. And... Mind reading. Okay. I'll take it. Good enough. Oh, hello. I don't know if I want to talk to you yet, because you'll generate something really powerful on this level. And I can't really handle that at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and use that to heal. And that advantage of the healing. There we go. Good enough. I feel a lot safer now than I did before. Um, I still really want to identify this wand though. And uh experiment with the whole imbue thing. Not enough charge. Okay. So it's got probably three charges on it. But I just don't know. There we go. New badge. This is a brand new installation of Shattered, so this is just standard mage. This is um, no subclasses, no achievements unlocked. Ring of Force! Oh, nice. Um, not that useful, but... Um, now, if I'm unarmed, I would do more damage than I am right now armed. So I might un as well unequip this, honestly. Though it does take now take up an extra inventory slot, but I'm not hurting for inventory at the moment, so I'll do that. Uh, the extra damage when things happen to get in my melee range is useful enough on its own, so... There's my potion of- my extra potion of invisibility for the- for the, uh... For the fish. I'll take the healing. It's not like I'm gonna come back here for uh, dew drops. Well, this point might as well. Oh wait, I have a full dew vial. Why, why, why did I even do that? I have a full dew vial. Okay. Um, these are the traps of summoning. Yeah, I don't want to mess with those. That's paralysis. That did not help me. Well, that's okay. Wait, did that just arc into the next room? 
I don't know if that's a feature or a bug, and I kind of want it to be a feature. Evan? Are you listening? Are you? Are you really? I could do the lightning uh, form of... Uh... Oh, you had to spawn the great crab. You had to spawn the great crab. Ugh. You know what? Let's go for the challenge. I didn't know they dropped food. That's really useful information. Actually. Uh, their evasion's too good. Let me not risk myself that bad. Uh, I will eat this though. And gain a little bit of charge on my wand. Oop. I'm not doing this the smart way. Keep the door open. Peek through. Zap the wand. So that kills two of them. The third one is out of my sight range at the moment, which kind of sucks. You are, are, however, are a lot safer to handle. So... I mean, I could just use the potion of invisibility, but this is, this is probably more amusing for you all. And, you know, what, what's life without a little bit of challenge? I'll take that. Nope. Yep. Now the door's not gonna close. Interesting. I'm too close. Oh, come on. This is such a hilariously weird standstill. Oh god. Do I, do I just chug the invisibility? Nah. What happens when I leave and come back? There we go. Now you're in a position where I can just do that. And now this place is safe for me to walk through. Silver potion. What do you do? Levitation. AKA what I needed for here. Hmm. Oh well. I I should have I should have known. I should have known. Oh well. Let's, uh, let's kill that last thing and get moving. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, right, I haven't killed the great crab yet either. Okay, now I know what my wand of lightning is. Do I imbue now? Or wait later? I kind of like having both, honestly. And I haven't seen the crab yet, but I don't really... I honestly don't really care. Uh, it's also 2.15. Um, I do want to stop when Jim Shepard starts his developer livestream of Dungeon Mans, which should be in about 15 minutes or so. Hmm. Actually, let me message him and ask. Because if you have not been to Jim's Dungeon Man streams, uh, you should. You absolutely should. Um, okay. That message is there. This is here. Alrighty. Onwards. Find and to and to slay the almighty goo. Glorp glorp. That's right. Okay. One. Huh. 
How much, how many hit points do I have at the moment? 11? I could survive another hit. If I have to. Uh, let's throw that here. So that you burn up. And that almost hurt me in the process, but that's okay. Uh, disorient, blind. Honestly, I could just... There we go. More powerful in water! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! That feels so good. That's really cool. That's really awesome. Let's go. Shall we? Alright. Floor hides many secrets. Water splashing around me. Bunch of stuff I don't want to fight yet. Somewhere around here should be the entrance to Pixel Mart. As in right here. Buy the seed pouch. Yes, please. I don't quite have enough for an Ankh, but I really want one in my near future. But that should be easy enough to pull off. Uh... I'll leave it like that right now. Um, how about, uh, Jim is telling me that he is not the boss of me and I can stream as long as I want, which is true, which is fundamentally a true thing, but uh, let's buy as much of these as I can instead and hope that one of them is remove curse, because I'd like to actually use that spell book. Nope. Nope. Gotta save up some more monies. Alright. That's fine. That's just fine. And I still don't know Potion of Healing yet, oddly. Um, and this is a new layout. I don't know if there's... If I should expect secret doors. But I'm acting like it. Because... You never know. The doors. Uh, wow, that is really powerful, in, relatively speaking. There's level 6, thank you. Um, I must have gotten a lot of experience from killing those piranhas. Which I'll take, because experience means a good deal in this game, actually. Potion, another potion I don't recognize. Seed. I am starving and hurt, so let's. And my wands aren't charged, so let's fix all of that. Whack. Whack. Uh, another burnt up mystery meat. I'd really rather freeze them, but. Mm, yeah, I don't even have any. Uh, I don't have any frost at the moment. It's just shame. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. And here. Oh, it's frozen. So I can actually do that and then just take it on from afar. Like a smart thing. I'll take that, though, and search, and find. Because more gold means more scrolls, which means more chances of, uh, as we said before, uh, remove curse and make endless making, uh, making those things actually useful to me. How many hood points do I have left? Ten. Gonna risk it. Ah, that other scroll burnt up. Oh well. Best I could do with what I had. And at least I'm still alive. That's important. I am gonna sell these. That. And that. As 
well. Mm. By that scroll that I don't recognize, and that scroll I don't recognize, and that's a scroll I already have that I know is not Remove Curse. There it is! Awesome. Okay. Let's find out what the rest of these are. Ooh. Guess I will take uh, some free sleep. Awesome. Uh, but I don't want to read the, these other ones around him. Will you help me identify, uh... Potions of health, please. And I'm burning. That's not good. No, I don't want that. Let's let's get me out of there. There we go. That's better. Much better. Okay, so the charcoal potion is the potion of health. That's good to know. Uh, let's uh, read this. Oh boy. <sighs> Psychotic Blast almost killed me there. I, I need to remember that that thing exists, as Darren knows. Darren knows that I really badly need to remember that that scroll exists. Uh, I'm really low on health, screw it. There we go. Better. Okay. Um, buying that arcane stylus might be... You know what? None of these are malevolent. I don't want to be wearing anti-entropy. I don't. I really don't. It's killed me too many times. It's almost killed me too many times now. So goodbye to you. Uh, I don't know what you are yet. That's invisibility. These are healing. And now I know that. Uh, let's eat. And I, I'm doing really badly in terms of the hunger clock, but that's okay. And we're gonna move on. Okay. There we are. A shop is a good place to die. <laughs> I'm trying not to die, Darren. I am trying very hard not to die. Um, oh, now I can find out what this is. It is, yes, oh good. It is magic mapping. That's, that's a thing that I want to know very much. Thank you. And I will charge my wands, thank you. Mm, give me a little more distance. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Good enough. Uh, let's try to make it there and not make it. Let's uh, create that choke point, thank you. Okay. Standard leather armor, I'm okay with that. Let's try that one. And let's actually, no, I, I don't have enough hit points yet to justify the... Oh, interesting. Is it that there's a desync between audio and video, Darren? Or is it just, uh... 
Is there, yeah, is there a desync between audio and video? Um, if it's just that it's taking forever for, uh, data to get to you, that's just Twitch. And I'm sorry. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is at least half Twitch and half not Twitch. I may convert to, um... There is a new competitor on the block. I believe it's called Beam. Um, it looks really interesting, but I haven't experimented with it yet. Something worth looking into. Um, I'm just more familiar with Twitch as a company and as a protocol, so that's what I've been up to um, in terms of what I'm learning for, you know, sh the purpose of sharing roguelikes. That was cool. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Kind of. Sort of. Not really. Um, and a whole lot of discussion is happening. Um, a couple of us who are going to IRDC have a uh, have a Skype chat going that has been really interesting and informative and fun. Uh, and it is very, very active at the moment. Which is a little awkward. Uh, I thought I had this on Do Not Disturb. Oh well. Uh, whatever. You can run off if you really want. Uh, upgrade, huh? Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Staff will inherit the highest level of the wand and all magic currently affecting the staff will be lost. Bring those together. Now, upgrade it. Now I've got a plus two staff of lightning. Um... Four points per hit. Counts as a staff. Still doing six points per hit unarmed, though, so yeah. And let's rest. And oh, wait, I still have a full do vial. Why do I keep. Uh, whatever. Okay, now we're of level layout. Um. Whatever. Let, let's keep moving. Let's just. Let's just. Keep moving. Now I have to be careful with this thing because it counts as lightning, not as magic missile. That might have actually been a bit of a mistake to uh, to do that, but the whole point of this build is to be a little more experimental, so. Experimentation is what you get. Uh, okay. Nice. Alright. Uh, what haven't I seen yet? He I have not seen here. Uh, and I don't have... Okay. I need to turn this down. Sorry. Sorry. I love you all, Skype, but do not disturb. Mm. I will check up on all of that when I'm done streaming, which honestly will probably be soon. A, Jim will be streaming in a matter of minutes, and B, it's... I, I really should get some more significant food in my stomach. So, yeah. Well, we'll take care of that soon. Alright. Now that you're all done and over with... Oh, bland fruit. And a key. Just in time. Perfect timing. Because... Come on. Are you gonna die? Are you gonna die? 
I am not killing these nearly efficiently enough for my personal taste. But we're gonna fix that soon. Alright. Let's blow this open. Throw that there. Grab that. Cook it. With... I think this one makes a nice result. I don't remember, honestly. But anything would be better. The power of the earth coursing within me. That's bark skin. That's pretty good. Not as good as I'd as a uh, sun fruit, but I'll take it. Um. Okay. Okay. What would happen if I were Lola by now? I'd heal. That's exactly what I'd want. Awesome. Let's move on. I've been waste I've wasted enough time. Uh, let's do this level, and then I'm gonna call it for this particular stream today. I have other things to do, and other streams to watch. Actually. Internet. Let us check. Kinda hilarious to be checking my phone while playing a mobile game, but, you know. That's how it goes. Pull up my email, because my email will tell me when awesome stuff happens. Inbox. Updates. Okay. Um, Jim is in fact live right now. Uh, and I, as I said, I need to make myself some lunch, and I would rather watch Jim develop Dungeon Mans than play Pixel Dungeon at the moment. Nothing against this game. I love this game, but, um, I'd rather watch Jim. I would rather watch Jim, and I think you all should too. And I've been streaming for... what? Tell me, Nightbot. For almost an hour, which is about my usual. Um, I usually stream around one or two hours, so we're gonna get going. Um, this has been a lot of fun though, and I'm really glad that this works. So, uh, go ahead and watch Jim. Uh, um, because that is awesome and fun, and it's full of wonderful talk about game development. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna get going, meet you there, have a good, maybe next time, Darren, maybe next time, but I'm really enjoying succeeding, so take that. All right, thank you all for coming, thank you all for watching, I'm really excited about this new build, so, uh, thanks again. All right, have